Hi there and thanks for joining us. I'm Connie Tran. A traumatic fall in Sequoia National Park changed the course of Mia Gonzalez's life. Mia injured her spine and was told she may never walk again, but that injury has not stopped her from living out her dream at the Fresno Fire Department. You can find Mia Gonzalez busy working at Fresno Fire's headquarters in downtown Fresno. She's a staff assistant, but if she's not here, she's out educating children in the Central Valley about fire prevention as the fire department's youth fire intervention specialist. Mia's story took a major turn in 2017. The then 20 year old was hiking with her cousin in Sequoia National Park near Morro Rock. I decided to stand on a two foot ledge and my cousin was about 10, 15 feet behind me. I decided to stand on that ledge to avoid traffic that was coming around the bend super fast. And I totally rolled my ankle, ended up missing my left foot and doing backflips 50 feet down to almost uh, the water. A log stopped Mia's fall and she landed in a bush on her stomach. I thought I had only broke my ribs, but I didn't feel like my legs were attached. So I started to feel for my legs and then I realized they were still on me, but I couldn't feel them. At the time of the injury, Mia was in the fire academy through Fresno City College. She previously worked in Butte County as a firefighter for Cal Fire. As a first responder herself, she knew to stay calm as it took rescuers two hours to get her out of the area and flown to Community Regional Medical Center. So I think that it's exceedingly beneficial that she had the access to the hospital and, and having it be a level one trauma center. Dr. Nicholas Levine was the surgeon who worked on Mia. He specializes in the treatment of cranial and spinal conditions. I remember Mia being fortunate. Now I know that may sound odd, but tumbling 50 feet and not suffering head injury and only having a spinal injury was very lucky. She could have been much more injured. He explains Mia suffered a fractured dislocation of her spine, meaning her spine was no longer aligned. In her case, that meant making an opening in her back in the midline, exposing the involved levels of the fracture and injury, and then putting screws and rods in to realign her. So I have uh, 10 screws in total to fuse my spine back together. What Mia's injury ultimately meant was she was likely to never walk again. And that's kind of hard to take in as a 20 year old. So two year, almost two years later, it's still kind of processing, but I'm just trying to make the best out of it. Mia hasn't let the injury stop her from living her dream in the Fresno Fire Department. I started this um, career path in the fire service almost three years ago now, and I just immediately fell in love. I can't see myself doing anything else. I still want to be able to serve and protect the community. Dr. Levine says it takes a special person like Mia to persevere and overcome a traumatic injury and continue to live fully every day. Community Regionals Trauma Center is the only level one trauma center between Los Angeles and Sacramento that is specialists at the ready 24 seven to treat serious life threatening injuries.